can't talk now. That door has been making noises again. No telling what's coming out. Here come. It's another one. It's not right. Madness. Why? Why? Everything is wrong. It can't be done. Stay away from me. I won't go back. You can't make me go back. I'll kill you all. You're all going to die. Stay back. This Whoa. one's fine. Ah. <laughs> oh. Good. But I was. I'd stay back from that door if I were you. Nothing that's gone in has come out right. I don't know where it came from, and I don't want to. Those who've gone in have come back out wrong. I'm just here to warn folks to stay away. Look for yourself. Their brains are addled. Got no sense. Perfectly normal people went in there. And this is what's come out. Ha! It's your funeral. I'm just here to warn people, not keep them out. Go ahead in. I'll be here to clean up the mess when you come out. Unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. Useless mortal meat. Walking bag of dung. A nice effort, though. Shame he's dead. <laughs> These things happen. A champion, rend the flesh of my foes. A mortal champion to wade through the entrails of my enemies. Really, do come in. Yes, what can I do for you? I imagine you're here about the door. Yes, you have entered, and now you are here. Amazing. Truly. I am Haskell, Chamberlain to the Lord Sheagorath. You approach the Shivering Isles. Through the door behind me lies the realm of Sheagorath, Prince of Madness, Lord of the Never There. Because my Lord wills it to be so. It poses no danger to Mundus. No compact has been violated. It is a doorway, an invitation. Perhaps you will accept it for what it is. For you? I do not know. My Lord seeks a mortal to act as his champion. As for his intent, to attempt to fathom it is a foolish endeavor. His will is his own. His reality follows suit. You are here because you chose to enter. You were not summoned. They entered this realm and were ill prepared. Their minds are now the property of my lord. Cured? You speak as if they are diseased. They live now in another state of being. Perhaps it is you who needs a cure. You do as you will. You may leave the way you entered. Your life will be none the worse for your time spent here. Or you may continue onward through the door behind me. If you can pass the gates of madness, perhaps the Lord Sheogorath will find a use for you. Who is to say? There are always choices to be made. The realm of madness is no different in that regard. Your choices are your own. Enter or do not, but make your decision. I've other duties to which I must attend. Speak with me again when you have made up your mind. The anticipation is almost too much to bear. Well, have you made up your mind? The tension is almost palpable. Fine. I'm sure my lord will be most pleased, assuming you ever manage to see him. You'll want to pass through the gates of madness. Oh, and mind the gatekeeper. 
He dislikes strangers to the realm. Enjoy your stay. Tried to warn them. You there, stay away from the gatekeeper. Let us handle this. Listen to me. Why isn't he dying? Keep fighting men. Oh no. They're bleeding all over the place. Like you mean it. It's the best you can do. Dead? I warned them, didn't I? Retreat. Yeah. Hello, I'm Sheldon. I've been here the longest. That's why I'm mayor of Passwall. That and because I'm the best at being in charge. Welcome to my town. He guards the gates of madness. Don't get too close to him. He'll kill you, and it will leave a mess in my town. Jared Ice Veins wants to kill the gatekeeper. Sounds like suicide to me. Don't feel bad that you're not as gifted as me. I'm J-Red Ice Veins. Do you ever wonder why things look better without their skin on? For instance, you can only really see the bones when you take them out. You can hear them better that way, too. I want him dead. I need him dead. His bones are calling to me. Rumor has it you want him dead, too. If you're any good with a lockpick, we can help each other out. We can get into the gardens of flesh and bone. They say the gatekeeper's magical. I don't believe in magic, but I do believe in bones. And the best way to kill something is with the bones of its own. I can see the bones of a dead gatekeeper in the courtyard of the gardens. The door's locked, though. You'll pick that lock, and I'll collect the bones. Then I'll make some arrows, and we'll kill the gatekeeper. Sound good? Here, take this lockpick. Careful, it's the only one I've got. You open the door, I'll kill things. Let's go. Pick that lock open. I can hear them in the... Yeah! 
Here we are. From these gatekeeper bones, I can make some arrows. Find me in a few hours. We'll kill the gatekeeper. See you. Do the bones talk to you, too? The arrows are ready. Here are some for you, and I'll keep some. Let's go kill the gatekeeper. We might die, but there's worse things. Let's go! Just looking at you reminds me of him. Why has he persisted? Hello? The gatekeeper is slain. Congratulations. The honor of taking the keys from his corpse is yours. As soon as you get those doors unlocked, I'm going in. Take care. So, you've managed to kill the gatekeeper. Pity. Well, you'll now be able to enter the realm proper. You'll notice there are two doors. One leads to the lands of Mania, the other to Dementia. Enter through either one. The lands are quite distinct, but both are Sheagorath's domain. You'll want to seek out Lord Sheagorath. I believe he has plans for you. Try not to disappoint him. Enlightening as always.
Be quickly, Mort. Speak quickly, mortal. A new arrival! Shame about my gatekeeper. I'm so happy I could just tear out your intestines and strangle you with them! <laughs> I suppose an introduction is in order. I'm Sheogorath, Prince of Madness, and other things. I'm not talking about them. You've probably figured that out by now. Let's hope so or we're in real trouble. And out come the intestines, and I skip rope with them. <laughs> but perhaps now's not the time. You've made it this far, farther than anyone else. Well done. Take this trinket of mine. Perhaps it will serve you well, or look lovely on your corpse. I've been waiting for you. Or someone like you, or someone other than you for some time. I need a champion, and you've got the job! 
time to save the realm, rescue the damsel, slay the beast, or die trying. Your help is required. A change is coming. Everything changes, even Daedric Princes, especially Daedric Princes. Daedra are the embodiment of change, change and permanency. I'm no different, except in the ways that I am. The Grey March is coming, and you're going to stop it. The details aren't important, at least not right now. Eternity is on a rather tight deadline. We'll get back to that later. Now, you run an errand for me. An important one, of course. Anything I tell you to do is important. My realm, my rules. You're going to Zedillion, one of my favorite spots in the Isles. It's a little place I used to take care of unwanted visitors. And some are more unwanted than others. The gatekeeper takes care of most of the unwanted, but he's dead. We'll have to remedy that soon as well. Anyway, there are those that have other ways into my realm, and they're on the move. We don't want them here, trust me. So, you're going to get Zedillion up and running. Here's a little book to tell you how, and the Attenuator of Judgment. Uh, you'll need that too. Of course, you can always get more details from Haskell. He's a detail-oriented type of person, a big help, and a snappy dresser. Now, get going, before I change my mind, or my mind changes me. You can go now, run along. The Mad God has given you a task. Surely someone of your copious talent should be able to handle it? Yes, quite an amazing place, really. Wonderful for relieving one's tension as you watch those troublesome adventurers suffer. No offense. I'd say your next move is to head to Zedillion and get it reactivated. Uh, the Mad God has given you a task. Surely someone of your copious talent should be able to handle it? Yes? Ah, silly me. The book has no pictures. Can't really expect you to read that now, can I? To reactivate Zedillion for my lord's pleasure, you'll need to find three focus crystals and return them to their resting place. Each crystal has a matching receptacle called a judgment nexus. Even you can't miss them. Without the crystals in place, the resonator of judgment, Zedillion's power source, cannot be restored. A glorious existence.
Lord Sheagorath has sent someone to assist me. But where are my manners? <clears throat> Must get into my professional tone. <clears throat> Welcome to Zedillion. I'm the dungeon caretaker, Kiliban Nerendil. A wonder of engineering, is it not? Zedillion is the ultimate test of metal for the foolhardy adventurer that dares trespass into the Shivering Isles. What they don't know is that they're being drawn to their doom, courtesy of the Resonator of Judgment. Yes, yes, I, I tend to ramble. You'll have to forgive me. If you have the Attenuator, then Sheagorath must have sent you. Zedillion would normally have sent you back to the entrance when you stepped on the pad in the Resonator Chamber. Since you're up here, I can only surmise that adventurers are already entering the dungeon as we speak. The only thing we can do is let the adventurers complete a cycle through here. I'll be glad to help. I assume Sheagorath gave you the Manual of Zedillion. You can consult it for more information, or I can provide instructions. As the adventurers make their way through Zedillion's chambers, they will encounter choices that you make in these control platforms. All you need to do is decide what becomes of the adventurers. Will you drive them insane, or will you pull the life from their bodies? As you wish. So good to be back in business. Keep your weapons ready and watch your backs. Do what I say, we might just get out of here alive. This is supposed to scare us? Ha! <laughs> Is that thing? <laughs> I'm not sure we should be here. This is one of the horrid guardians of which the stories spoke? What a joke. Let's be rid of this thing and continue on our way. Wait just a moment. What's that sound? Prepare yourselves for battle. <laughs> Nefarious sorcery is this? Damn it! Lewin deserved better than this, and I'm responsible. Someone will pay dearly, I assure you. There's nothing to be done here. We must press on. Unleashed the swarm, did we? Nothing like a little bloodlust to start the encounter off right. Bah. 
This place is beginning to bug me. Grumok, be careful. This looks too good to be true. Ha! Let's see them stop me after I rip this gate from its hinges. Grumok, no! <clears throat> Sorry, Sindelius. I don't know who built this nightmare, but if I get my hands on them... Ah, the classic fire trap. Always a favorite, especially in the colder months. The classic fire trap. Always a favorite, especially in the cold Steady, Grumok, steady. You've been through worse before. What more could this place possibly throw at you? This place is giving me the creeps. Bring it on. I'm ready. Take this. Ah! Earth, strike me. Ah! Earth, ah! Earth, blood from strike me, will you? You've made short work of the intruders. Shea Gorath should be proud to have such an efficient apprentice. Now, if you'll step on the last teleporter pad, I will meet you in the reception chamber so we can recover your earnings. I'm afraid you've exhausted Zedillion's resources. This was the final chamber. The Resonator works by drawing adventurers to itself with a sort of magical siren's call. Sheagorath uses the Resonator to find the cream of the crop, as he calls them, the best of the worst to populate the Isles. Quite clever, eh? Not to worry. We'll have your spoils to you in no time at all. As is the tradition, you are to be awarded a focus crystal as a token of your fine work. I'll have it sent to the palace and placed in the main hall if you wish to take a look at it. Oh yes, of course. It seems a most unusual weapon was recovered from the orc warrior, Gromok. Never seen anything like it, but perhaps his journal can give you some useful information. Beyond that, take whatever else you need from the recovery chest. You've earned it. You're free to go at any time, of course. Just up that hallway. Good luck to you. a battle. I hope you are uninjured. You've not heard the legends? How could that be? Those beings, as you call them, aren't beings at all. They are the soulless abominations known as the Knights of Order. Their attraction to the Resonator isn't surprising. It was built from one of the obelisks that dot the Isles they seem to have an affinity for. You must proceed to Shergorath at once and tell him the knights have returned. Quickly now, go!
Blessings. Well now, what news do you have to report? So soon? Not a surprise, I suppose. We'll get to that later. No need to burden your little brain with it now. And Zedillion? Since you're standing here, I assume you've succeeded. Or you're terribly confused. Or really lacking in good judgment! Wonderful! Time for a celebration! Cheese for everyone! Wait! Scratch that! Cheese for no one. That could be just as much of a celebration if you don't like cheese, true? You've run a maze like a good little rat. But no cheese for you yet. Oh, well, maybe a little. I've granted you a new spell. The ability to summon Haskell, my Chamberlain, to aid you in your travels. He knows a lot. More than he knows. In fact, give it a try. Summon our friend to you now. I'll wait. Ah, our Lord has granted you the power to summon me. How wonderful for me. When summoned, I can offer advice on your current endeavor. I imagine it's up to you what to do with my wisdom. Do try to use your power sparingly. I have duties to which I must attend. Rather more important than shepherding you around, I'm sure. Isn't that a hoot? I love it myself. Best part of being a Daedric Prince, really. Go ahead. Try it again. He loves it! J 
just one more time. At least. <laughs> He's a smart. Ah, summoned again. My lord does so enjoy that, as is his prerogative. I'll assume you're done for now. Good, good! You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to defeat Jigalag and stop the Grey March. Oh, don't expect to summon dear Haskell anywhere but in the realm. He dislikes leaving my presence. I get that sometimes. The Daedric Prince of Order. Or biscuits. No, no order. Yeah. And not in a good way. Bleak. Colorless. Dead. Boring, boring, boring! And not a fan of my work, I can tell you. Hates it, hates me. A bit single-minded, if you take my meaning. You have seen his knights? Not the warm and cuddly sort. <laughs> not a bit of original thought in their lifeless husks. So, you're going to help me stop him. Again with the niggling little details. Hold your tongue, or I will. <laughs> we'll get to that all in due time. For now, you've got other work to do. An event, a movement, an apocalypse of sorts. Happens every era at the end of every era, which is to say, now. The Grey March comes and Jigalag walks. Or runs. I never skips, sidles, or struts. But mostly he just destroys everything around him. Ask? Ask? I don't ask! I tell! This is my realm, remember? My creation, my place, my rules! Look at you! No concept of what you've stumbled into. No sense of place. You don't even really know where you are, do you? I suppose few really do, but that's beside the point. We're going to give you a taste of where you found yourself. You're going to learn! Two halves, two rulers, two places. Meet and greet. Do what they will, so you know what they're about. The Duke of Mania! and the Duchess of Dementia. Seek them out, and let them show you what new Sheath is. You might be surprised. Once you understand what my realm is, you might understand why it's important to keep it intact. And maybe you'll make some friends along the way. That's always nice. Ta! Come visit again! Or I'll pluck out your eyes! Welcome to the House of Main. Ah, yes, there you are. You couldn't imagine how long I've been waiting for you. So little to do and so much time. Hmm. Could you, in fact, imagine just how long I've been waiting? I don't think you could, but I might be wrong. I might also not care. Which is it? Haven't I? Hmm, perhaps not. It felt like rather a long time. But then, long times get longer when you're standing around thinking about them. A curious thing, that. Long roads get longer, too, if you're thinking about them. But what about long words? They don't change nearly as much. Long, short, it all ends up the same. Dust and tears. Usually tears first, then the dust. Dust can't cry, you see. That would be, well, amusing. You know what's not amusing? I don't have my chalice of reversal. It makes me sad. When I get sad, I don't care to do much of anything. 
I certainly don't care to help people who show up on my doorstep wanting something. Are we getting the picture here? Oh, so you've heard of it. Then you know why I want it back. Can you imagine trying to eat Feldew without it? Disastrous. Curse that woman. We hold on to fleeting things, even as we slip. I knew, and yet I indulged myself anyway. I indulged her a fair bit, too. <laughs> it was passion. It was forbidden. Oh, the things that would be said if word got out. That made it all the more delicious. From Dementia's own court, no less. Scandalous. Fatal, perhaps. But passion makes no accommodation for self-preservation. Opposites repel, strangely enough. All that pleasure and pain locked away now, as if it never happened. Unfortunately, the chalice is locked away as well. I have no wish to retrieve it myself, but fetching it might do you some good. My head is positively throbbing now. Can you see it? I need to lie down. Find someone to tell you the rest of the story. Get the chalice. Welcome to the House of Mania. The chalice is one of the Duke's prized possessions. He has been at a loss without it. Go. Welcome to the House of Mania. Welcome to the Halcyon Conservatory. Welcome to the Halcyon Conservatory. You've been speaking to Thaden, I can tell. He has a certain effect on people. Did he mention me, perhaps? Or was there something else you wanted to discuss? I don't ask too many questions of Thaden. It's precious to him, and that's all that matters. It's his own business. But didn't he mention where it is? Oh, I see. How brilliant of him. This is for you as much as it is for him. Oh, very good, Thaden. Dunroot Burrow is your goal, my friend. And what a goal it is. Yes, yes, a most unique place. Of course the chalice would be there. Don't you see? It's the Elytra. They're the reason. The chalice. Feldu. Elytra. It's all connected. One without the others is no good. Poison. Oh, a rough road awaits you. Some elytra there are different. You'll need to get Feldu from them and eat it. Can't get in without it. But once you do, he wants you to learn for yourself. Learn, grow, experience. It's his way. I shouldn't say more. But the burrow... It's northeast of New Sheoth. See you.
Speak, citizen. The triumphant champion returns. So, do you feel any different now that you've been through this experience, I mean? You know what it's like now, always wanting that next fix, hating it but craving it at the same time, and hating yourself for all of it. Ah, well, all over now. The chalice helps, doesn't it? Indeed it does, and I could use some helping right now. I'll just take that back from you. And as a token of my gratitude, I grant you the role of Courtier of Mania with all of its entitlements, which is to say, none. Welcome. What are you doing here? Hi. Why do you approach the Duchess of Dementia? Do you seek death? You're the one the Mad God sent, aren't you? Then you're safe for now. Speak to no one unless I instruct you to. None of them can be trusted. Do you hear me? None! Surrounded by traitors and spies, I am. Always, always and wait, eager to slip a knife into my spine when I'm not looking. Could be all of them, every last one. None can be trusted. But they'll never take me down, never. I'll see them all rotting in shallow graves before I let my guard down. You, you will help me. Yes, yes, you will be most useful. You're going to find out who knows. You're going to learn who keeps secrets, who conspires against me. You will be my grand inquisitor. 
Expose the conspirators and they will be punished, I assure you. Find out who keeps secrets and what they are. Speak with Herdier. He will help you. Do you understand what is required of you? If no one is found, you will be held responsible. What brings you to this delightful corner of the House of Dementia? How may I help you? Are you? Hmm. I'd expected an entrance with a bit more... flair. Ah well. Perhaps you'll grow into the role. <laughs> One can hope, hmm? Now, we've got much to do. Lady Sill is not a patient woman, as I'm sure you've seen. Shall we begin? Ah, I do appreciate an assertive leader. I look forward to working with you on this assignment. Lead the way, Grand Inquisitor. I am Kithlin, steward of Lady Sill. Unless you have reason to be here, your presence is unwelcome. No conspiracies here. Go pester someone else. No, please, no. What? No. Look out! Oh. Oh. This ends here! Run away! Ah. All right, all right, please, just stop. I don't know anything specific, but Anya has been looking Scared lately. More scared than usual. I think something's going on with her. Now please, leave me alone! See you later. I'm Anya Herrick. I serve Lady Sill, and she allows me to remain protected within the House of Dementia. I'm so grateful to her. What? No, no, no I, I, I don't know anything about anything. I, I'm sorry. I can't help you. No, please, no. Yes? Do not bother the or Please. I I'm not involved. I didn't do anything. They wanted me to get them close to Sill, but I couldn't abide them. It was Mazada. He said he was working on behalf of someone else. He told me I needed to help him or there would be repercussions. I didn't know what to do. Turning on Sil could cost me my life, but if I don't help, what will Mazada do to me? You must do something! 
Take care. Blessings, citizen. It's gone. All of it gone. Have you seen any of it? Any of my things? The others, they think I'm stealing, but I just want my things back. I'm afraid I have no idea what you are talking about. Please, no! Ugh. You may continue to do your worst, Inquisitor, but unless you have some evidence of this preposterous conspiracy, you'll get nothing from me. See you. Well, hello there. It's good to see such a well-equipped individual as yourself around these parts. But you look tired. Carrying all that gear will do that to you. I'd be glad to shoulder some of the burden, relieve you of that expensive stuff. Or is there something else I can take from that I mean help you with? I don't know anything about a conspiracy. Please, no. Please, no more. I don't know anything about a conspiracy. Thank you. Excuse me. I have important things to do. Yes? No, no, I know nothing. No, please, no. Oh. Hey, I don't want trouble. I keep to myself, but I see Mazada and that dark seducer Nelreen meeting behind the buildings late at night sometimes. That's all I know, nothing more. Take care.
Have you made... made any progress? Will Anya assist us? No, that blasted Inquisitor got to her. We'll need to find someone else. See that you do so immediately. This is the one task which you were assigned. If you cannot complete it, you will be removed. Are we clear? I will, I will. I want to see Syl dead just as much as you do. She cannot be allowed to survive after what she's done. It's despicable. Good. I shall expect a progress report soon. And keep your head down. The Inquisitor must not become involved. Ah, you again. Have you seen any of Mazada's things? A shiny spoon? Or a broken bottle? I can't find them. I told you, I don't know anything. You can't prove a thing. What? I, I, it, it's for the good of Crucible. You must see that. Please, spare me. I'll do anything. I don't know, besides Nelrin. She is taking orders from someone, but won't tell me who. If I find out, uh, will you promise to spare me? Okay, okay. I get the names, and then you'll see. It will be worth it, I promise you. Meet me in my house tomorrow at midnight. I'll have information for you. Just please spare me. Keep an eye out for my thing. What do you want? I hope for your sake you are not accusing me of anything. Did you? And you have proof of this? No, you don't, do you? Well, then you'll get nothing out of me. Please, no! Your efforts are futile. You will get nothing from me. You have no proof. You cannot hold me accountable for anything. Please, no! Oh. Your efforts are futile. You will get nothing from me. You have no proof. You cannot hold me accountable for anything. Please, no! Oh. Very well. I am a part of the group that wishes to see Syl drowned in a pool of her own blood. But I am not in charge. You want the leader. You want Murine. But no amount of torture will get a confession from her. You'll need more than just my confession. You'll need evidence, and I have none. Walk with our... Lord. Ah, you again. Have you seen any of Mazada's things? A shiny spoon? Or a broken bottle? I can't find them. They've agreed to help you already. Torturing me further will do you no good. Take care.
Get out of here. Yes, Inquisitor. What may I do for you? Of course, Inquisitor. I look forward to working with you. You thought you could escape Lord Sheagorath's justice? Your stolen goods are now forfeit, and you can either pay reparations or face the dungeons. A coward as well as a criminal. Very well. Perhaps I'll have a chance to test your mettle another day. You'll come with me, and you'll be searched for stolen property and pay reparations. Then you're free to go. I'm Muireen. If you have any secrets, I'm the one to tell. I won't share them with anyone but my family. Unless they're good ones, that is. I see you've done quite a bit of work to track me down. Yes, I orchestrated it. Syl deserves to die a painful death for turning on all of us and consorting with our enemies. Go ahead, do what you will. Nothing matters now. Goodbye. How may I serve? Greetings. 
What news do you have to report, Inquisitor? Have you found who is responsible? Is that so? I shall have her brought to the torture chamber at once. Meet me there shortly. You've confessed to attempting to kill me, I understand. The penalty for this treachery is death and is to be carried out immediately. <laughs> you see now what happens when those who oppose me fail, which they always do. I'm pleased with your work, Inquisitor. As a token of my appreciation, I shall spare your life and make you a courtier of dementia. In addition, accept this bow. May your enemies fear you and never know from where or with what enchantment you shall strike. See you later. experienced both shades of madness. Wonderful! You seem fulfilled. Full of fill! Bursting at the seams. <gasps> Seamless. Now, to the meat of your endeavor. The crux of the situation. The reason for your being here. And the likely cause of your death. You'll be stopping the Grey March, altering the course of events, breaking the cycle! A fly in the ointment, a new cause for a different effect. We're going to change things. No, things will be different this time around. You'll be my champion. You'll grow powerful. You'll grow to be me. Prince of Madness, a new Shea Gorath. Or you'll die trying. I love that about you. A fair question. You won't really. At least I don't think so. But you'll have power. My power. Try not to lose it. It's a pain to replace. But for all intents and purposes, you'll be me. A me to fight the him. Since I won't be around. It's simple, really. If you don't think about it. Because you seem a nice enough sart, and you've made it this far. And if you don't, I'll swallow your soul and vomit it into the ever-filling chamber pot of the Ageless. Hm. But mostly, because I asked nicely. Well, not here. Didn't I say that? I'm never here when Jigalag walks. It's one of the rules. I've told you too much for now. Listen to me, prattle on. I can see your mortal brain straining. We'll talk more later. Now, you've seen the gray torch that burns brightly over Nusheath. No, because it doesn't. It should, but it doesn't. You'll fix that. You'll go to Silarn and bring back the flame of Agnon to relight the torch. Oh, and take care with my minions at Silarn. In their eternal quest to please me, they're constantly fighting over Silarn. It can be tiresome, but really, it's divine, divinely tiresome. Well, that's your problem now. Off with you. I don't want to see you again until the great torch is lit. I wouldn't want to have to hurt you. Much. Oh, don't forget to make use of dear Haskell. Between you and me, if he's not summoned three or four times a day, I don't think he feels appreciated.
Ta! Come visit again! Or I'll block out your eyes! Halt! Mortals are not permitted within the walls of Holy Silarn. My pardon, Lord. Receive this key and with it free passage throughout the Shrine of the Flame of Agnon. Alas, we cannot light the flame until we take control of the Altar of Despair from the infernal Maskin. The Armazel Kana would wish to speak to you at once. Proceed through this door to our main encampment at the Altar of Rapture. This is no place for a mortal. 
We are about to join battle against the Mazkin. You'd best stand aside. My pardon, Emissary. I am at your service. We are preparing to sweep the Mazkin scum from Cylon. Perhaps Sheogorath sent you to help us. Only the servants of Sheogorath can light the flame by kindling the altars of despair and rapture which feed the flame. Alas, we hold only the altar of rapture. The treacherous mask can hold the altar of despair. We must control both to light the flame. If you help us seize the altar of despair from the Maskin, I will be honored to kindle the flame of Agnon for my lord Sheogorath. The only way to assault the Altar of Despair is down the main passage between the two altars. It will be difficult. The Mazkin have fortified their position, but I am confident that with your help, we can defeat them. Will you help us retake the Altar of Despair and drive the Mazkin out of Cylarn once and for all? Very good, Emissary. With your help, we will rid Cylarn of the Mazkin once and for all. Down with For the mask! glory! For the mad god! For the mad god! Maskin, for the glory of Sheogora. My soul for Sheogora. For Sheogora's glory. Maskin. Oh, so is out but the battle is not over. Ah, the enemy is upon us. Ah. Ah. Kneel before the saints. Mad God. 
Hours. I have already selected a candidate for the honor of kindling the Altar of Rapture. I will now claim the honor of victory for myself, here on the Altar of Despair. My Lord's choice of emissaries is strange, but he tolerates the Mazkin in his service as well, so who can fathom his ways? No matter. I serve him, not you. Stand aside. Be quickly, mortal. The holy flame of Agnon, the fire of inspiration and rapture. If you light the great torch on the mania side of the Sasellum, you will be a hero to the people of Bliss, I assure you. I knew I saw the glint of true mania in your eyes, my child. Go now, and let the Holy Flame inspire the people of Bliss to new heights of madness. I'm disappointed in your choice. You'll find Mania to be a fickle friend.
You've brought it. The holy flame of Agnon, the fire of inspiration and rapture. If you light the great torch on the mania side of the Sacellum, you will be a hero to the people of bliss, I assure you. I knew I saw the glint of true mania in your eyes, my child. Go now and let the holy flame inspire the people of bliss to new heights of madness. Aren't you off to a good start? That's important. For me. Really, your work is going to save me a lot of time. The Grey March is upon us, and the ordering begins. Armies of order sweep my realm. Death, destruction! Then I have to pick up the pieces. And there are always lots of pieces. I don't like it. Having to rebuild my realm every era. Sometimes I forget where things go, like New Sheath. I can never remember where it belongs. You'll change that. Break the cycle. You'll stop Jigalag, and I'll have my realm to come back to. I've never actually tried that before. Why not? Something has to work. Once, I dug a pit and filled it with clouds. Or was it clowns? It doesn't matter, it didn't slow them down. To be honest, it wasn't the best idea. And it really began to smell! <gasps> Must have been clowns. Clouds don't smell bad. They taste of butter. And tears. But this is all new! A fresh idea! Something I hadn't thought of. Until I did. It sure to work, even though it might not. Now, you'll need the respect of my citizens. They'll need a leader, someone to look up to when I'm gone. They're the backbone of any great land. Except where the backbone is an actual backbone. Ever been to Malakoth's realm? Oh, nasty stuff. But back to the business at hand. You'll need to control one of the carts of madness. Replace a current duke, or duchess, whichever. That will command respect. The people will rally around you. You'll have their love, their admiration, their complaints, whatever, as long as it keeps them on our side. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Absolutely not. Well, yes. Absolutely. Bit of a shame for them. But sometimes, you need to break a few eggs. Or skulls. There are rules, though, even in the Isles. Rituals and rules. You need to follow them. Speak to Artis and Ervenen, the High Priest at the Sacellum Arden Soul. They can explain what needs to be done. And you've always got our man Haskell to call on for help. Faithful, like a good hound, that one. And he looks better in a suit. Ta! Come visit again! Hurrah! Look blessing. out your eyes! The great torch shines with the pure light of mania. You chose well. In accordance with the ancient tradition, receive now the raiment of Arden Sul in honor of your mighty deed in service to mania. Yes, how we would all aspire to be as great a leader as the first, our savior, Arden Sul, the greatest duke of the ages. We celebrate him with the ritual of accession, the path to maniac bliss. An important part of our history, my friend. I would be glad to tell the tale if you have a moment. Certainly, when the ruler of Mania has decided it is time, he will choose a successor from his court. 
the successor is invited to a huge celebration, a night of hedonistic revelry, wine, song, and of course, green moat. During this, the exiting regent imbibes three doses of the potent drug. This causes his heart to burst, and his lifeblood flows from his body. The successor then gathers the drug-tainted blood and brings it to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I will proclaim the successor a duke or duchess. Then, Shea Gorath gives his blessing, and the cycle is completed. Another sheep return. I'm disappointed in your choice. You'll find Mania to be a fickle friend. Seldom is the subject ever br Wait a moment. Did you want to hear the history of the ritual? Very well. Spoken like a true son of the Demented. To become the ruler of Dementia, the current leader's heart must be cut out and brought to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I can pronounce the heart bearer, a duke or duchess. Then, all that is required is the blessing of our lord, Sheogorath. Yes? You're back! How nice for you! Does that mean you've made a decision? Or are you lost? Suicidal? Just let me know. A friendly word of warning before you choose. Once you've decided which duke to replace, there's no turning back. One choice. No more. No less. Try not to do something stupid. So which is it? What will it be? Mania? Dementia? The suspense is killing me! Or you, if I have to keep waiting. A safer choice, perhaps. Maybe you'll live through this. Thaden's a bit lost these days. Not that it's a bad thing, it suits him. <laughs> Until now. Besides, won't it be a grand surprise when you make his heart burst from too much green moat? Thaden loves surprises! We will... Speak. When your task is complete. Speak, citizen. Greetings, friend. How can I help you this fine day? Make it quick. You're too... That's... Uh, blah, blah, blah. To You're too... That Where'd you get that? It's good of you to... to that You're wasting your breath. You're a big, fat liar. Uh, you're That's just talk. That's great. Your is I I see. Such a kind and noble man. In times like these, it's good to have a leader who still enjoys all the modern pleasures mania has to offer. Well, yes, apart from enjoying his painting, reading a good book, or a rousing night of erotic bedroom games. I'm speaking of Greenmoat, of course. There is no greater pleasure. 
If I didn't have such a busy daily routine, I'd likely indulge myself in its pleasures more often. Very well. I see little harm in telling you. After a bit of reading in the garden and running my special errand at noon, I like to shop at Books of Bliss. Around 8 p.m. we are served dinner. Gundlar is quite a chef and prepares Thaden's meals personally, adding just a hint of green moat. After that, we dance, we sing, or we do whatever else suits my lord's tastes. Green moat is the refined version of the spores that are harvested from the spore trees that dot mania. We keep the green moat safely tucked inside the green moat silo. You can imagine the ruckus if its location was known. Only a select few, such as myself, know the silo's location. However, we are sworn to secrecy. Farewell.
This area is off limits. I have everything for the budding alchemist under one roof. I have potions and everything you need a good pride. That's a fact that if you drop. An excellent dig. A fine bark. Thank you for your business. Goodbye.
How goes it? Welcome to the House of Mania. Hello again, my friend. You thought you could escape Lord Sheogorath's justice? Your stolen goods are now forfeit, and you can either pay reparations or face the dungeons. I'll enjoy putting you down, scum. Kneel before the saints. Eta Orios! Kneel before the saints. Drop your weapon, hand over your stolen goods, and face the Lord's justice. Pay your due reparations, or it's the dungeon for you. A coward as well as a criminal. Very well. Perhaps I'll have a chance to test your metal another day. You'll come with me, and you'll be searched for stolen property and pay reparations. Then, you're free to go. The Speak great hall shines as a beacon of me.
Oh, my, yes. I feel especially delighted this evening. Perhaps it's time I recited my latest soliloquy. Ahem. The Lady Fair, our love is told, with hair as fine as soft spun gold. Lips as red as a sun-drenched dawn, skin as soft as a newborn fawn. Eyes as blue as a cerulean sea. Yeah, what? My heart can't breathe. Help me! You have things to do. Talking to me isn't one of them. We will speak when your task is complete. Once again has the ritual of accession come full circle. The blood of Thaden has been consumed by Arden Sul's will, and all of Mania welcomes you with open arms. I now declare you Duke of Mania of the Shivering Isles. May your light shine upon all our happiest days. May Arden... You've done it! The ritual is complete, and you've survived! A shame about Thaden, but... It's how we would have wanted it to go. Now, on to other... Wait, I must speak. The ritual must not be completed. Sil! You dare interrupt me? Only I interrupt me. Like just then. I'm speaking with someone. We'll talk later. Or not. When is later, exactly? Not now, I'm sure of that. Guards! I think Sil forgot how to use the door. Kindly show her out before I forget myself. Thaden? Dead? You've done this. It was you all along. Hold your tongue, little Duchess, or I'll tear it from your mouth. Mouth. Replacing Thaden with this outsider? This is how it ends. I should have seen this coming. Calm yourself, Sil. You're making my teeth itch. You still hold your office? I suggest you see to your duties. No, I see what's going on. I should have seen it before. You conspire to destroy us all. You're a fool if you think I'll allow this to happen. Fool? Visionary! Changes in the air, Sil. Breathe it deep. Bathe in its scent. Bottle it up. Save some for later. Order stands at our door. 
They've taken the fringe. Did you even know? Do you care? And you speak of change. Change will preserve us. It is the lifeblood of the Isles. It will move mountains. It will mount movements. No, I can't do this. There has to be a way out. A way to escape. Then go, Sil. Return to your quarters before I send you back in pieces. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll go. The enemy of my enemy. Order is the key. I'll keep them close. No! Let her go. This is not over, Mad God. I give myself to Jigalag. As a priest of order, I'll be safe. Your empire will crumble before the armies of order. Wondering why I let her go, aren't you? I can see it in your face. Mostly in the eyes. I may take those from you when this is done. This has never happened before! The ruler of dementia turning traitor? Unprecedented! I've seen others defect, but never a duke! Maybe we're onto something here. We'll see how it plays out. It can't be worse than what's happened before. I do, I did, and I won't say it again! But that's enough about that. You're the ruler of mania. Oh, just look at you! You're positively beaming! You now have the power to summon golden saints. They've always served the Duke of Mania. I think it's the bright colors. They just love them. And here is the Ring of Lordship, a symbol of your new station. Symbols are important. They carry weight in this realm, and others. You would be well served to remember that. She was right about that. I can feel it. In my bones. The little ones. The Grey March has swept the fringe. Aura gathers its forces there. You'll need to put an end to that. Stop them. My army should already be there, but I want you to see what you can do to help. If they continue to marshal their forces there, we won't be able to contain them. Make sure they can't. Ta! Come visit again! Or I'll lock up! Cylon. Your Grace, a dark time has been thrust upon us. 
pass wall is under attack. We are outmatched and outnumbered. At first light, the spire at the center of town became active. Immediately, the area around it began to crystallize and change. Soon after that, the sky darkened and the nights came. I have an idea how we might be able to stop them, but for now we must survive. I've been losing Orioles with each attack, and I'm down to nothing but men. We are pinned down here. If we lose, the Gates of Madness will fall. If the Gates fall, the enemy will flood into the Isles. We will be helpless to stop them. But now that you've arrived, perhaps we can slow them down. We cannot talk now. We don't have very long until the next wave arrives. Even though I have served with these Orioles for centuries, as the Duke of Mania, it is your right to command the troops. Command them if you will, or leave it to me. Either way, make haste. Our time is short. I thank you for your trust. In your name, and for the sake of the Shivering Isles, I shall not disappoint you. Inspect the battlefield and provide what aid you can to the troops. Speak with me when you feel that they are ready for battle. Form up! By the staff, we will not allow this town to fall. Are you prepared for battle, Your Grace? I imagine that we will not have to wait long, Your Grace. Go. Here they come! your position. Don't break ranks. Hold! Hold! Victory is ours, for the moment. We must discuss our next move. The Spire is obviously their source of power. This battle will not end until we find a way to shut it down. I am not certain, but do not lose heart. I have an idea. The ruins of Zedafen run under Passwall. The entrance to the south of the town has been sealed for centuries. One of my scouts reported that the ruins have been opened recently, and a number of these knights are now guarding the entrance. I did, and she did not return. I can only assume that she was caught and killed. If we attempt to assault Zedafen, Passwall will be overrun and we will lose the fringe. Additionally, our forces are dangerously thin. We have no idea what opposition may await us inside. Your insight is... impressive. While we draw their attention here, you should be able to slip inside Zedafen. Once inside, search for the source of the Spire's power. 
It must be underground somewhere. Once you find it, destroy it. Good luck, Your Grace. May the truth light your way through the darkness. Go.
It's... it's you. I remember you. What are you doing down here? How did you get past the knights? When they attacked, I ran from Passwall. They didn't say a word. They just started killing. The screams. By the staff, you can't imagine the screams. Fellas and I slipped down here, thinking we'd be safe. But no, we landed right in the middle of them. Fellas ran off with them and left me to die. Me! That ingrate! Disloyal cur! Imagine leaving me here all alone! <laughs> I didn't say they took him. He went with them. I've heard his voice a few times around here. I think, I think he joined them. Every time I look for a way out, I get twisted around and end up back here. But I'm too smart for them. You seem to have no trouble, though. Look at you. Barely a scratch. You'd be the perfect person to protect me. Oh, sorry. I wasn't aware that being a courageous hero was a requirement around here. Look, you may be a scamp's ass, but I'm offering you the chance to be the hero of Passwall. Escort me out of here, protect me, get me home, and those people will praise you more than you can imagine. I'll do what I can to help. I... I like to hurt things. Maybe I can hurt these damn knights.
cannot believe it. You survived. We were certain that your light had been lost. I apologize for doubting you, Your Grace. You are a most worthy leader, perhaps the greatest warrior to ever hold the seat of Mania. But I fear that our work is not yet done. The area is still overrun with knights that were not destroyed in the Spire. You should return to the palace and speak with Sheogora. Ask him how he plans to defend this realm. Your grace. Speak, citizen. News of your success in the fringe precedes you. To further cement the victory, I have an important task for you to perform. You will seek the assistance of Relmina Veranum in Zalselm to rebuild the Gatekeeper. You remember? The creature you killed to get in here. With the Gatekeeper restored and Zedillion in operation, we won't have to worry about anything getting in. Things already here are another matter. You'll need to speak with Relmina Veranum. She'll help you with your task. Strange woman has some unusual tastes. With that done, the fringe should be secure. For now. I can feel things start to get a little hairy. And not in the good way, like on your head. It's essential. Simply essential. If only it were essentially simple, but it's not. I want him there guarding those gates. If any of Jigalag's forces show up, he should be ready for them. It wouldn't do to just let them in if more show up. And more always show up. Still and all, I think things are going well, considering. Go talk to Relmina in Zaselm. Tell her you're working for me. Oh, she'd do anything for me, that little minx. Send Relmina, my love.
to life. You! I remember you! You're the adventurer who slew my gatekeeper, are you not? The ends justify the means, do they? You'll pay for that one day. Now, by all means, come right in. Walk in here as if you own the place. By what authority do you disturb me? I see. Shagorath is too important to come on his own account. He sends his mortal lackey. Well then, I trust my servants didn't give you too hard a time getting in here. <laughs> What is it Sheagorath's lackey requires of me? Oh, does he now? Fine. If it be my lord's will, then it is also my own. But I'm too distraught over the death of my child to return to his womb. This you must do. You will travel to the gardens of flesh and bone. There you will gather mystical components needed for the ceremony. Go fetch me blood liqueur, osseous marrow, dermis membrane, and essence of breath. And take this key. It will allow you into the gardens and give you direct access to my sanctum. Away with you, dog, and fetch me those components.
have returned with all the components? Excellent. All that remains is to choose the body parts. Fearing one day someone might manage to kill my child, I have been preparing a new body. I've created versions of each appendage. With various enhancements, you must choose one of each. I am attached to them all. Artist's prerogative. Take all day making your choice. You've made your selection. Now we travel to the statue of our Lord in the fringe. There we will perform the ceremony. Make haste. Shall we start the ceremony? First, place the gatekeeper's body into the cistern of substantiation. At the beginning of the world were five. Fire, water, earth, air, and light. Darkness turned into day. The void took form. Hidden away by virtue of its own self-awareness was the sixth, containing within it the five which birthed it. Flesh! Meat with the desire to consume like fire. Place the dermis membrane into the system. Blood, liquid nutrient. That ocean which casts pearls of life upon the shores of existence. Place the blood liqueur into the cistern of substantiation. Bone, branch, and stone of the body giving shape and structure. Place the osseous marrow into the cistern. Breath. Child of air, bestowing movement, the stirring of spirit. Place the essence of breath into the cistern of substantiation. And last, the light of flesh, the illumination of soul, perception, thought, memory, imagination. I summon thee, walker in flesh, flesh of true flesh, from those waters of oblivion which sire thy kind. Come to this altar, join with this body, quintessence of flesh joined with the essence of flesh, absolute in the mortal, immortal, bound to contingent, 
Stand clear of the cistern. Over here by me. Onward, Daedra! Fear not thy abasement. Thou shalt be the holy in this temple. I bind thee, Astronach, to this body. Henceforth, gatekeeper of the Shivering Isles. My child, it is time to fulfill your destiny. Stand guard in this land against all those who seek entry not bearing the mark of Sheagorath's favor. You shall know them by the coldness in their minds, a darkness of spirit. What's this? My child, they're coming! Destroy them! Show them your true power! Watch my child destroy the interlopers, or run to Sheagor. Either way, tell him of our doings here. Send him my tribute, and my affection. Mad God's blood. A new gatekeeper! Excellent! We might be on to something with you after all. That should keep out the stragglers. And the sea, you've learned how to summon flesh Atronox. Relmina must like you, little Duke. But probably not in that way. Lord Sheagora, I apologize for the intrusion, but you must help us. Order has attacked Pinnacle Rock and routed us. Well, well. What a turn of events this is. It's new, and I like yes, new, even if it's bad. And this is bad, isn't it? I am I. This is a particularly exciting turn of events, is it not? A perfect job for you, my newest and only noble in the realm. If order has entered my army stronghold, things have taken a disturbing turn. It means order has tried subterfuge, not its strong suit. <laughs> Amazing! Perhaps things aren't going as poorly as I'd imagined. You'll want to get all the details from the messenger. Unless you already have. You haven't, have you? Well, aren't you precious? Do you really not know? Haven't you noodled it all through yet? Because he is me! Well, I'm him! We're a bit of each other, really. I, I won't be here when he arrives because I'll be him! Happens every time. The Grey March starts, order appears, and I become Jigalag and wipe out my whole realm! Soon. Too soon! I can already feel the change beginning. I feel like I'm not quite here. I'm not over there yet, but I'm not quite here! And I've been having moments of clarity that are quite unlike me. Like now. Stop it! 
Oh no, can't do it. Believe me, I've tried. It never ends well. But you're still going to stop the Grey March. Stop Jigalag. Me? From destroying my realm! Now? Nothing has changed. You deal with this messenger. Make sure my army is secure. You'll need them. Ah, come visit again. What out! Look out, Gerard! Your Grace, there is trouble. You must come quickly. Our stronghold at Pinnacle Rock is under attack. The forces of order broke in and routed us. You must go to Adeo at once and aid her. Please, Your Grace, hurry to Pinnacle Rock while there's still time. Thank you for coming. I apologize for summoning you. The blame is mine. We've lost control of Pinnacle Rock. Syl let them in. We had no idea she would turn on us. They captured our commander, Dylora, and have her imprisoned somewhere inside. Our first priority must be rescuing her. Syl had called her aside, separating her from the group. 
She meant to divide our numbers when order entered, making us easier targets. They imprisoned Ilora somewhere within Pinnacle Rock. If they killed her, she could return to us, so they keep her hostage. If we follow the waters of the Wellspring, we will surely find her. Still let them in. More than I could count. It was all we could do to fall back and regroup out here. We must free Dylora as soon as possible. She will know what to do. Forgive me for saying so, Your Grace, but I find taking orders from the Duke of Mania to be unsettling. You are the only remaining Duke, which is a situation quite unprecedented. Normally, you would never be permitted to pass within Pinnacle Rock. Given the need for swift action, the normal customs shall need to be overlooked for now. We shall be right behind you, Your Grace.
You have my thanks for freeing me, but just who are you? Your Grace, I am sorry. I did not realize. Where is Syl? Have you seen her, that traitorous coward? Syl, the snake. She showed up, asked for a contingent of guards, said there was trouble at the palace and that we were needed. We were so focused on organizing quickly that by the time we realized she'd let order in herself, it was too late. We were split up and picked off. But it doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that matters now is the Wellspring. We must reach it at once. The Wellspring of the Mazkin. It's what links us to this realm where we return to the world from the waters of oblivion. If Syl helps order sever that link, my kind will be annihilated. The realm will be lost to us. We must get to the Wellspring and stop them. I will follow your lead. The Wellspring is at the heart of Pinnacle Rock. Follow the waters to reach it. I am yours to command your grace. We must purge order from our home. No, the Wellspring. They've stopped it up. You, you must make it to the Wellspring and let the waters flow. Shh. 
realm. The wellspring is restored. You saved us. We are forever grateful, Your Grace. Please, allow me to teach you this spell, so that you may summon our kind to you in times of need. Also, accept this gift of armor. It is the least I can do to show thanks for your help. No sign of her yet. We'll do our best to track her down and deliver her to Lord Sheagorth for a fitting punishment. The traitor must be brought to justice. Our warriors will scour the halls of Pinnacle Rock, removing any last elements of opposition. Then we will immediately return to our duties. Indeed. Lord Sheagorath will be anxious to hear of your victory, I am sure. Your work is done here, Your Grace. I'm sure Sheagorath will want news of your success. Blessings, Dark Sister.
Speak quickly, mortal. Your Always a pleasure. Time. Time is an artificial construct. An arbitrary system based on the idea that events occur in a linear direction at all times. Always forward, never back. Is the concept of time correct? Is time relevant? It matters not. One way or another, I fear that our time has run out. As I feared it would, my plan has failed. The Grey March is upon us, and I must go. I thought we had more time. I thought we had a chance. My plan has failed and we were so close! What happens is what always has happened. What always will happen. I crumble. I fade. The realm dies. And you with it. Flee while you can, mortal. One we next meet. I will not know you, and I will slay you like the others. Optimism! Ha! Oh, 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 oh. How adorable! I love it! Even at the end, you make me laugh! <laughs> I'm lying. That wasn't funny at all. No matter. Soon you and everyone else will be dead. And I will be left a mad god, ruler of a dead realm, again. I had intended to give you my staff, the symbol of my office, but life is gone from it as it goes from me. It is now dead wood, a useless twig. With the staff there was hope, but now hope is dead. I am dead. The realm. The realm is dead. Sheyogorov is dead. All shall crumble before Sheyogorov. He is gone, but hope is not lost. We have a rare opportunity here, but I hesitate to do what must be done. If the throne of madness remains empty when Jigalag storms the palace, he will prevail. But there is a chance that the throne may not be empty. You will sit on the throne. It has always been Sheogorath's intent for you to be the new Mad God. True, but perhaps you can hold the throne, provided that you possess the proper symbol of office, namely the staff of Sheogorath. Unfortunately, when Sheogorath faded, the power of the staff faded with him. It must now be remade. The staff is the symbol of power in this realm. He who rightfully holds the staff may hold the throne of the Shivering Isles. However, the secrets of its construction are lost. That which is lost can be found again. There is one being in the Shivering Isles who may be able to assist you in the construction of a new staff. The ruins of Knife Point Hollow once served as a great library. There you will find a door. Behind that door, you will find the answer you seek. Although I hesitate to guide you towards this path, the secrets of the past will surely aid Jigalag, but I fear that we have no other choice. Be mindful of what you find there. The library is a thing of order, and it will still serve that end. Take this crystal. It contains the power to open the sealed door. 
Inside, you will find the final remnants of the library. My work is never done. I have been waiting for you, Your Grace. This day, as all days before and after, is well known to me. There are no surprises to Dias of Mytheria. Shea Goreth has fallen, and you seek the means to foil the machinations of the Prince of Order. You seek the throne of madness. However, no mortal may sit upon the throne without the staff, so here you are in my prison seeking to supplant the one who placed me here. If you wish to take the place of Sheol Gorath, then ask me what you will. Knife Point Hollow is my prison. As the great library, it once contained all the knowledge in creation. However, spare me your grief. My imprisonment is as meaningless as my immortality. Time and place are nothing. Constructs of a feeble mortal mind attempting to categorize and understand the world around it. 
If you were one of the fortunate few, you would one day understand and accept this. However, you are not, and you will not. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the divine essence must be gathered elsewhere. But apotheosis is no simple matter, and the creation of the staff is no simple task. I will require two sacred items in order to complete it. The Shivering Isles hold many secrets, but few remain unseen by mortal eyes. The staff is a tool of great vision, and thus requires the eye of one who has witnessed one of these unseen secrets firsthand. Sirta resides in the Howling Halls of Mania. Find her and bring me the eye that is seen that which no other has. The trees and branches of this realm feed from a deep font of madness and mystery. One of the oldest trees, named the Tree of Shades, lies in the halls of Milkar. Milkar is a place of ruin, root, and mania. Go there and bring me a branch of this tree, but be warned. The tree will not surrender its secrets to one who has not earned them. Yes... Only then can I create an appropriate vessel to hold the power that is inherent in the lord of this realm. The staff may allow you to occupy the throne of madness, but understand that such a feat has never been attempted. All sources indicate that you will fail. It is a certainty. However, I also predict that this will not stop you from trying.
Not one of us.
Your light will shine! No more! Be tolerated. Into the darkness. Your light will shine no more. Your light will shine. Ah! Oh. Whoa. Die, heretic.
you have the items. Contrary to all prediction, once again, you defy the path set before you. However, what comes next is now unclear. If you wish to confront what is to come, I shall create the staff for you. Staff of Sheogorath holds the secrets of this realm. As such, it requires a vessel that has witnessed dark secrets. The Sirta has seen things with her eyes that no mortal has. Because of this, her eye will serve well to contain that which the staff must hold. Now that you have both components, I can remake the shell of the staff. You possess the eye and the branch. Together, they shall form the physical shape of the staff of Sheogorath. After I shape them into the staff, you must take it to the seat of power in the Shivering Isles, the palace of Sheogorath. There, imbue the staff with power from the font of madness. Soak the staff in the waters of the land, and it will open its full power to you. You have defied the expected and accomplished something that denies all logic. I must contemplate the error in my calculations. Now, take your treasure and leave me. Ah, you're back. You may have noticed that we have a, a bit of a problem. You're having a bit of fun with me. Very good. My lord, of course, noticed the font when you arrived in the palace. The font of madness. In the middle of the throne room. The font which is unaccountably covered with crystals. Order. The taint appeared only a short time ago, but it has spread quickly. I fear that soon we will all be serving a new master. Yes, his agents must have found a way to poison the font with order. Once the source of madness becomes the font of order, Chigalag is won. Somehow, the forces of order have poisoned the pools of mania and dementia that feed the tree. I suspect the traitor Sill. Jigalag has never had an original thought in his existence. Be that as it may, you will have to enter the fountainhead beneath the tree and find the source of the poison. A glorious existence. True.
To join us, oh, or simply oh, to die. Oh, cannot be stopped.
deluded. They find me rather harder to kill than poor innocent Thaden. At this time, you have enough to go on. Now get back to it. My work is never done. My lord, our Mazel Zuda sent me to find you. She requests your immediate assistance. I don't know, my lord. She only said it was a matter of the gravest import to the security of the realm. My lord, I'm glad to see you. We have a developing situation that requires your attention. Order. An obelisk has activated just outside the palace. I've ordered my Orioles to engage the enemy. I expect that this is the beginning of the final assault. The cursed usurper Jigalag himself may even take the field before the end. What are your orders, my lord? It will be our great honor to fight by your side, my lord.
For millennia, this drama has unfolded, and each time, I have conquered this land, only to be transformed back into that gibbering fool, Sheogora. It was not always so. Once I ruled this realm, a world of perfect order. My dominion expanded across the seas of oblivion with each passing era. The other princes, fearful of my power, cursed me with madness, doomed me to live as Sheogorath, a broken soul reigning in a broken land. Once each era, I was allowed my true form, conquering this world anew. And each time I did, the curse was renewed, damning me to exist as Sheogora. Now, though, you have ended the cycle. You now hold the mantle of madness, and Jigalag is free to roam the voids of oblivion once more. I will take my leave, and you will remain here, mortal. Mortal? King? God? It seems uncertain. This realm is yours. Perhaps you will grow to your station. Fare thee well, Sheogorov, Prince of Madness. You've done it! Well done, Lord Sheogorath. I never doubted you for a moment. Now, of course, there is business to attend to. As you have assumed the mantle of Sheogorath, there are matters that deserve your attention. As Lord of this realm, there are a number of benefits to which you are entitled, as well as a number of duties to which you must attend. Your first duty is to attend to the needs of your subjects you will find that there are constant threats to the residents of the Isles. Your job is to protect them either by dealing with the matter yourself or sending your armies to take care of it for you. Your assistance may be needed in Hale, Lord. If you are otherwise occupied, I'm certain the survivors will understand. As you wish, my Lord. I'll see that a contingent of golden saints is sent to the settlement. You may request any of the Golden Saint or Dark Seducer escorts at the castle to accompany you. They will defend you to the death. You may also summon entertainment to your throne room. Your predecessor found this most invigorating. Speak with me if you wish entertainment. You also have the ability to affect the weather in your realm. As it is an extension of yourself, it will often have an effect on you as well. You also have the benefit of Sheogorath's protection. Cast this upon yourself, and if your life is threatened, you will be returned to your castle. Many of these abilities, Lord, are rooted in the magics of the Isles. Should you choose to leave this realm, they will not likely function. You wish entertainment, my Lord? As you wish. I stand ready, Lord.